Hey kids, do you know why everyone is so tired on April 1st? It's because they just finished a long 31 day march. <laughs> Today, let's take a few moments and watch some of what happened in Kids Church this morning and listen to Pastor Randy as he talks today about Jesus and what he did for us at the cross. Acts chapter 4 verse 12, salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved. Baseball season is coming. I played baseball. I played Little League when I was a kid. I played softball quite a bit as a junior higher, high schooler. I played tennis on the team and it was the same season so I didn't play baseball. When I went to college, I played baseball. One of the things that is unique to baseball is this, is you can have a starting pitcher and they might do a great job but a starting pitcher almost never finishes the game. They have a relief pitcher. Somebody else that comes in and finishes it off. Sometimes it's the relief pitcher that actually wins the game. He comes in and substitutes for the person that started it out. In the same way, Jesus comes as a substitute and he helps finish it off for us so that we can come out winners. That's right. The Bible tells us the wages of sin is death, but Jesus took the penalty of that. He suffered the pain for paying of that penalty that should have been ours. But he stepped in as our substitute at the cross so that we could have new life. The Bible tells us he was separated from God his Father. He actually called out on the cross and said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And he was separated from God his Father so that we could be united to God the Father and have eternal life. And here's a relief pitcher who is coming in to finish out the game. And he's going against a pinch hitter who came in and is filling in for another batter.
That was awesome. You know, in the same way, Jesus filled in for us. He's our substitute. And because of what he's done, we too can be winners. Today we talked about something horrible that happened over a hundred years ago. There was a great ship called the Titanic. The Titanic was almost three football fields long, 882 feet. It was as tall as an 11-story building. And on the ship, there were 2,227 people that were sailing on its first voyage. It left on April 14th, 1912, but on April 15th, something horrible happened. It hit an iceberg and it began to sink. Unfortunately, on that ship, they had lifeboats, but only enough to take care of about half of the people. 1,178 people could fit into the lifeboats if they were packed. There was almost double that on board the ship. As they were getting on the lifeboats, they realized there was not enough room for everybody. And some actually chose to stay back and allow others to get on the lifeboat and live. There's stories of even people that were on the lifeboat and they looked and saw a loved one on the ship and they climbed out of the lifeboat to let somebody else get in and have life. In the same way, this is what Jesus did for us. He saw we were in a situation where all we had coming to us was death because of our sins. But he changed places with us he became our substitute. For one to live, the other would die. And if one would die, the other could live. That's what Jesus did for us. He gave his life. He took our place. He was our substitute. He died on the cross in our place so that we could have eternal life. He hung there for me He hung there for me Such pain and disgrace He took on His face And I can explain This love that I see, I only believe, He hung there for me. How I love Him. I love you. How I love. 
Jesus took your place. He was your substitute. Sometimes we say things that are wrong, wrong words, wrong, wrong actions, wrong attitudes. We have these things that we have done. And it would, we could say it's S from S I N. Wrong words, wrong actions, wrong attitudes messed us up. Jesus saw us and saw where we were headed because of our sins. And he changed, decided to change places with us. There's an old saying that says, um, I'm glad that people didn't just hang out my dirty laundry for everybody to see. If the people knew our wrong words, our wrong actions, our wrong thoughts, that'd be yeah, not good. But Jesus himself came and paid the price for our wrong words, our wrong actions, our wrong attitudes for our sin. And when we come to him and say, Jesus, please forgive me, wash away my sin, Spin cycle. <laughs> Jesus washes away our sin. He pays the price for us. He took our place so that our sins could be totally washed away. And we can be made clean. And it's because of the work He did for us on the cross. Jesus paid the price for us. You have a great day now, and I'll see you around like a donut.